everyone. Welcome back. This is class 102, brought to you by Carmine from New York Teaches Photography. Uh, I'm talking nice and low to set the mood of this short, interesting video. Now, recently it was Mother's Day, so you ladies or gentlemen uh, might have in your house some dying roses like these. These are from Mother's Day. Not that long ago, for some reason, global warming, <laughs> roses don't do very good for very long. Ooh, look at that guy. So what are we going to talk about today? Very quickly. Uh, we're going to talk about don't throw away your dying roses from Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, birthdays. Don't throw them away so quickly. Now, we're using today the Nikon D700, the Tokina 100 millimeter f 2.8D macro lens on these dead roses. Now, the reason I have the lights low and the only light actually is this rechargeable Ulanzi LED cube light. Did they give it to me? No. Did I buy it? Yes. Are they a sponsor? No. <laughs> I just love these little ultra light, little cube LED lights for these close up type photography. So you take your Nikon D700 in an almost completely blackout dark room. You could do it at night much better. Now, because it's a macro lens and you want to shoot wide open, the depth of field is about that big. It's about, it's about a sixteenth of an inch. In other words, that's all that will be in focus is the depth of about sixteenth of an inch. So what that means is that your background will be beautifully blurry. Okay. So you take your light in a dark, very dark room, right? And you just move it around. You move it down, you move it up, you move it around, right? And your macro lens will you focus, pinpoint focusing on whatever subject part of the rows you want sharp. Now, here's a rule of, th a rule of a rule. <laughs> when you're doing this type of work, what you want in focus, it's what's ever closest to the lens because that's where your eye will go. Okay. So keep that in mind. Whatever is closest to the lens should be in focus because that's where your eye will naturally go. Okay. So I uh, have this set at, um, let me see, what's the ISO I have it on? I'll tell you right now because I forgot. Okay, I have it set on 1600 ISO. I'm shooting wide open, handheld. You don't need a tripod because at 1600 ISO with this little LED light, guess what? Your shutter speed will be about 500th of a second. That's perfect for handheld, even if you're an old geezer like me. Okay, so if you take the shots, put your card in the computer, and you will be amazed at the photographs you can get from dead roses. They are just incredible. And a rose like this one, a rose like this one right here, guess what? When you um, process it in post as a black and white from the D700, oh my God. It is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so that's the D700 taking photographs of dying dead roses from Mother's Day, birthdays, or guess what? Do what I do. Over my 50 years, you go to a florist, you go to a local deli where they sell flowers, and you buy them. Buy props. This is just a prop. This is just the prop. Props. These are props right when you're bored and you have nothing to photograph go get flowers let them croak leave them for a week and you'll be able to take beautiful different 
type of photographs. Everybody photographs fresh flowers in a garden. Oh, how pretty. Take photographs of these poor bastards. <laughs> and they're different. They're artistic and they're interesting because they have more textures. All right, now we've gone, I don't know, five minutes. Let's look at the photographs I took with the D700 just now and the Tokina ATX 100 millimeter macro lens F2.8D. Let's look at those photographs right now. <laughs> 